Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the last tutorial we have learned you know what are the generic functions and also how to define the generic functions using the template. So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to pass multiple parameters of the same type to a generic function and also how to return the values from a generic function. Alright, so here first what we're going to do is we're going to build a generic function you know which is going to take two parameters you know more than one so first we need to use the keyword template because you know it's a template function and then we need to use the less than symbol greater than symbol and here we need to write the keyword class or type name and then the identifier let's say capital T and you know you guys can uh, use any identifier you want and then we need to specify the return type now first I'm gonna show you how to pass multiple parameters so I'm gonna write the return type as void and then let's call it as display and then you know here the parameters you know the parameters are gonna be of type t so it's gonna be t let's say x and t let's say y so in this body what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know, print out the values of this x and y so I'm gonna use c out x and I'm just gonna say and and then I'm gonna insert y and let's end this line all right all right now you know we have defined a generic function you know which is gonna take two parameters of same type you know it can be any type but you know these two parameters must be of same type you know either int float char string whatever it is must be of same type the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is how to write the function prototyping you know when we use the template functions so you guys can copy this from here and you guys can paste it here before the main function and add the semicolon here you know if you want to use this uh, variable names you guys can use it or if you want to remove it you guys can remove it you know it doesn't matter all right now in our main function what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this display function so it's gonna be display and here you know we, we can pass two parameters you know this function is gonna take two parameters and also you know these two parameters must be of same type either int or char or float or string or whatever it is it must be of same type so I'm just gonna pass let's say 20 and 30 and if I build and run this now we get 20 and 30 and I just gonna call it again and I'm gonna pass um, let's say Anil and uh, um, Anjali and again I'm gonna call this display and I'm gonna pass let's say 12.36 and 56.78 you know any value and I just gonna build and run this and we get 20 and 30 Anil and Anjali 12.36 and 56.78 now you know here you know this display play function is taking two parameters and that two parameters must be of same type so I can't pass Anil and 26 here you know if I try to do that you will get the error and you guys can see and if I open up the logs it says no matching function call to display const char5 and int so you know when we use this generic function make sure that you know when we have only one type in and uh, you know multiple parameters that parameters must be of same type you know either int char float whatever it is must be of same type and also here you know we, if we have specified any standard data type such as int in the second parameter you know then this will be valid all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know how to return the values from the generic functions or you know the template functions so here you know we're going to define another function so it's going to be template and then less than and greater than symbol and we can use type name or class this time i'm going to use class and then let's say t and uh, here we're going to return the return type you know our function is going to return the values and that value is going to depend on the type of data we're going to pass you know if you are passing any integer values you know the return value is going to be after integers and if you are passing any floating point values you know the return values are going to be of floating point type so i, I can uh, refer to this t here you know the type and then 
the function name let's say max maxi and then this function is going to take two parameters let's say t x and t y and here what we're going to do is we're going to return and before that we're going to check whether this x is greater than y if it is so greater than or equal to y if it is so we're going to return x else we're going to return y that's it now we're going to prototype this so i'm going to copy this and paste it here and add the semicolon and uh, you know here i'm gonna i'm gonna use this um, maxi function so you know it, it's gonna return some values depending on our um, past parameters so i'm gonna use c out and i just gonna call this maxi and i'm gonna pass let's say 20 and 30 you know integer values and let's end this line and i just gonna copy this line and paste it again and here i just gonna pass 20.56 256 and 3.897 you know whatever it is all right now i'm gonna build and run this and you guys can see here you know it returned 30 you know when we pass this 20 and 30 that's because you know 30 is the maximum number and then it returned 20.256 you know the largest number all right so here you know when we use this template functions or the generic functions and you have only one type at that time if your function is taking multiple parameters of the same type then that parameters must be of same type and also you guys can return the values from this generic function and your return value is going to depend on the type of parameter passed then you guys can use that type as the return type all right guys this is how you guys can pass multiple parameters to a generic function and also this is how you guys can return values from a generic function so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page and stay updated with the latest videos that we're gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial